there, Simon Trades here, and I'm coming at Crew Railway Station, but I'm not actually doing much filming here today. I'm only here to change trains, but we shall be calling out three other stations on the way, which are the following. Witness, Huff Green, and our final station today, Liverpool South Parkway. We might be bumping into somebody here as well. Now, I'm only going to witness Huff Green and Liverpool South Parkway to do some filming of their multiple units there. But we might be bumping into a few people on the way as well. So we're going to be hitting the intro now and then we're going to be starting by getting a train at Bougie Town Railway Station. Hello, my name is Simon and I'm a rail enthusiast for the town of Bougie in Staffordshire. And I also use the railway to travel around the country. These are my journeys across the United Kingdom by the Iron Rails which sometimes can go successful and end up in a disaster. The block now approaching this YouTube channel this is the next Siren Trains Railway Journey and I welcome you to this service so please sit back and enjoy the adventure. So we got 57304 passing through Moose Trent Valley, which is where we're at now. Now I have come off the train, which is just behind there, which is 35244. Now I got this at 0856 at Moose Town Railway Station. This started at Bergen New Street at 0811 in the morning. Yes, it's a peak time train, but I've travelled at the end of morning peak because the next train I'll be catching the 0924 to crew is the first off peak train from here. Well, technically, it's actually the 0920 which is on that platform, but going up towards crew, the 0924 is the first off peak train. So, we are waiting for that to take us to crew, and then we change it crew very quickly to catch the 0959 to take me to Liverpool South Parkway.
Stafford, Penkridge, Wolverhampton, Smith. Now on the uh, 1038 to Manchester Oxford Road, we shall go to Whitbus first. Unfortunately, I did get this train arrived because as soon as my train arrived, this one pulled in at the right time because my train arriving at Double South Parkway was about two minutes late. So it was a quick jaunt to get to this platform to catch this train. Anyway, we are on our way to Whitbus now, so everything's going to plan still. This is my first station of the day I'm visiting at today out of three. This is Whitless Railway Station. Now before I carry on blogging, I just want to show you some clips of the station building and the footbridge because they are both beautiful to look at. We're also here to film some northern diesel multiple units and some East Midlands Railway diesel multiple units but the East Midlands Railway ones are just mainly class 158s. So before I do the station history of Whitless Railway Station there is something else I want to show you first. The other thing I want to show you is, is uh, right next door to this railway station because there's a banner here saying the Barnyard Corton 
artisan craft food and drinks market. But there's some strange things right next door to this railway station which is surprising. First of all, we've got a bit of a plane here. Now I don't know what plane it is because I'm not into planes and all that but um, it's nice to see that there which is strangely interesting. And also in a puddle of water here, right there, is a female mannequin. So there is some interesting things here but I think it's to do with art to be honest, I'm not too sure. Anyway, we're going to film some more trains and do the history of Whitless Railway Station. Now this is the history of Whitless Station. Whitless Station was owned by the Cheshire Knights Committee on the 1st of August 1873. But when the station was opened it was actually named Farmworth Whitless in brackets. The 5th of January 1959 the station was renamed to Whitless North. And finally on the 6th of May 1968 the station was renamed to Whitless. Now there was another Whitless railway station along here which we'll talk about when we get to Huff Green. But it's a mile and a half walking distance from this station called Whitless Central. Transpellite Express also ran their Liverpool Line Street to Scarborough services along this stretch of line. But these services have been diverted to travel along the Liverpool and Manchester Railway by St Helens Junction. Now we're going to be here to fill some more northern units before we move to Huff Green. As that uh, class 195 DMU is about to leave, we are uh, heading to our next station, Huff Green. Now what I did notice was where I got off at Witness was, because I got off at class 195 DMU. The only problem was when I got to Liverpool South Parkway, my train to Witness was literally arriving, so I didn't get time to see which number it was. But it was uh, 195111 Key Worker, which says uh, thank you NHS delivery on it. This is 195127 which is about to leave now. We're waiting for our train now to take me to Huff Green.
This is the second station I've visited today, Hal Green, which is the wrong pronunciation of this station. It is actually called Huff Green. Now, I have done previous blogs where I have called it Hal Green, and I do apologise on that, but the correct pronunciation is Huff Green. So this is Huff Green Railway Station. It is a Mersey Rail Railway Station as well, even though the closest service for Mersey Rail is Hunts Cross, which is a couple of stations down that line. Northern only call this station, and East Midlands Railway do pass this station, but we're just getting 95% of the East Midlands Railway service today, because at Witless, we did get two in the hour when I was there. Here, we're only getting one through here, because it went from Liverpool Line Street to Norwich, but the next one is at 13.08 from Norwich to Liverpool Line Street. There should be one at 12.08, but that's not running at the moment because of the current situation. Also south of this um, platform, or east actually, there used to be a junction here at Hough Green, which took you onto the Witless Loop Line, which I explained the history of Hough Green Railway Station, which I explain now. This is the history of Hough Green Station. Huff Green was owned by the Cheshire Lines Committee in May 1874. It used to be a junction station for a loop line. Now I'm going to put a diagram on the screen now of the loop line. Now the loop line closed in 1964 to passengers. This loop line was a five mile and two chain loop which had two stations on it, Witness Central and Tanhouse Lane. But the line was kept open for freight until the year 2000. We're just going to film a couple more northern DMUs before we head to Liverpool South Parkway. We're going to be here about 1 o'clock and we'll be arriving at Liverpool South Parkway, which will be our last station of the day at 13.09.
I'm now at uh, Liverpool South Parkway. Before she decides to go on the next train, there's somebody here. Hello. Ah. <laughs> she loves trains. Yeah, I think I picked it up, yeah. <laughs> Save that for down the line. <laughs> but that is nice to meet you finally. I know, yeah. Just saw you just coming out of the train, right? <laughs> anyway, it's nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, Tom. Right. So I'm here for I'm here for another hour and then I'm jumping on the 1415 to crew and then I'm gonna meet up with another guest at crew station. But that will be a bit further down the line. So we're going to film some more trades here and then jump on the 14.15 to crew. This is now the history of Liverpool South Parkway Station, but it's a little complicated due to the history of the station, so this will be done as a voiceover and show some Google Earth maps. The first map shows the layout of Liverpool South Parkway from around 2018. The stationist map is on the right hand side showing the West Coast Mainline platforms and the Mersey Rail platforms, but we shall not be visiting the Mersey Rail platforms today. Our next map dates from the 31st of December 2000 and Liverpool South Parkway doesn't exist on this map because it used to be two different railway stations. The platform that I'm filming today on at Liverpool South Parkway used to be Allerton Station, opened on the 15th of February 1864 by the St Helens Railway, which they were extending their line towards Edge Hill, but the station was sited in the Garston area and was served by hourly Liverpool Line Street to Manchester Oxford Road service until it closed on the 30th of July 2005. The Mersey Rail platforms were 306 yards west from the current day platforms and this station was named Garston. Garston Station owned by the Cheshire Lines Committee on the 1st of April 1874 and had trades from Liverpool Central towards Manchester by Warrington Central and towards Aintree on the North Liverpool Extension Line. But these services were cut back in the 1960s to Gatacre, and in 1966 most services were diverted to Liverpool Live Street, which only left the Liverpool Central to Gatacre services until 1972, when the line closed and Garston Station closed. However, on the 2nd of January 1978, the station reopened as part of Mersey Rail's Northern Line and was named Garston Lanks in brackets. But a year later it was relayed to Garston Merseyside in brackets, which acted as a terminus for services to Kirkby until 1983 when Merseyrail electrified the line to Hunts Cross. The station though finally closed on the 10th of June 2006. A day later on the 11th of June 2006, Liverpool South Parkway station opened as an interchange in the Garston area for trains and buses. And most trains, apart from Banty West Coast, call at this railway station. So we're going to carry on showing footage of trains at this railway station.
Rangers on the approach to Roncorn. Now on the 14.15 from Liverpool South Parkway, the next destination is Crewe. But I'm only using Crewe to turn around onto the 15, no, yeah, 15.33 back to Rouge Trev Valley. It was also nice to meet uh, Gino's trains at Liverpool South Parkway. Now that was unexpected, to be honest. I did not actually know she was going to be there. But, seriously, do subscribe to her channel because she, she does good content. And so does my um, next guest, which I'll be beating at crew. But anyway, we're just about to um, arrive into Runcorn now.
So I'm back at Rougie Town Railway Station and we're going to summarise today off. We started on the 0856 which was a peak time train service to Rougie Trent Valley. Now that was the end of the morning peak so that wasn't really too bad. But when I got to Rougie Trent Valley I was on the 0924 to crew and then I was on the 0959 to Liverpool South Parkway. When I got to Liverpool South Parkway there was a very tight connection because the train did get there a bit late, only like two minutes or so. But as soon as my train pulled in, the northern unit that took me to witness was putting in, but it had a few minutes to wait. So I managed to catch that, which was 195111 at 10.38. That took me to witness, which was a nice station to film at. That was the only second time I've ever been to witness, to be honest. But um, we got units there, then we went over to Hoff Green. And then we filled uh, some trades there, which was quite good as well. But we only missed out on East Midlands Railway Class 158 DMU because they weren't running a 100% timetable like they are here. It's only an hourly service on this line. The Birmingham Liverpool's is only hourly service still. It's just the hourly service timetable. It's a bit of a ball ache, but you can understand why because of the current situation. But anyway, so. Hoff Green we filmed out, then we went to Liverpool South Parkway to do some filming there, but what I did not know was that Gino's train was there. But it was lovely to meet her finally because I do like watching her blogs on YouTube. And if you'd like to subscribe to her channel, I'll put the link up there and trust me, they are really good content she does. Well after we had some filming at Liverpool South Parkway, I went over to Crew, which I met another YouTuber. Uh, Joel Hardy, who's a uh, YouTube channel to the Rail Network. I'll try and put that there as well. And um, if not, I'll put them down the bottom. So it was nice to meet up with Joel. Since the last time I met up with him was at Harvardham Bridge where I was doing the uh, Lease Use Station Wales. Unfortunately, the Lease Use Station Wales series is cancelled. Especially with the current situation, it's just cancelled. So I won't be visiting Lease Use Welsh stations. But anyway, so after that, got the train back to reach the train back, I got the train back here. It was a perfect day. There wasn't really nothing special to catch, but it was nice to bit it, witness, Hoff Green and Liverpool South Parkway. So my next vlog is going to be filmed a week later because I don't know what I'm doing yet. But I've got a whole week off work planned next week. Because it's my birthday week to be honest, so I've just booked it off. So I'll be like literally blogging six days straight now usually when I do that I actually do go away on holiday somewhere but I think it's like a staycation this year I'm having at home but I will be going out daily to visit each place so I don't know where I'm going yet but that's the plan for August so I'm not going to book a hotel and pop there I'm literally going to be starting my journeys at Rougie Town but I'll be filming six days straight so this block has now been terminated at Rougie Town Railway Station thank you for traveling with Simon Trade and we'll see you for the next vlog wherever that will be. Thank you for watching.